In this lesson, we're going to look at how to add two vectors to produce a, a resultant vector. An easiest way to do this is to look at what happens when two tugs are pulling this boat. Again, if you like um, Titanic music, then maybe this is not the place to be, so I'll turn it off. When you're adding vectors, there's an easy way to do it. If this tug here is pulling this boat, and this tug is also pulling this boat, the boat's only going to move in one direction. To figure out what direction it's going to move in, what we do is, we move the vectors and put them nose to tail. So you can see the journey happening here, going along here, and then going along there. So to get the resultant vector, we just go from the start to the finish of the journey and, and draw a line. So the boat's direction is eventually going to travel along this, this red line here, which is really V plus U. The trick here is to put your vectors nose to tail to make the journey complete. So we're going along here and then along here. Okay, let's have a wee look at some examples. I suppose this first example, the canoe is travelling at 4 kilometres at right angles to the bike. If it meets a downstream current at 3, what happens to the canoe? Well, you can, same idea, you can put the, the vectors nose to tail, and you can see that the, the resultant vector A plus B would be going in this direction. So the canoe would be pushed in that direction here. So here's some examples. Draw the resultant vector U plus V for each pair of vectors and write the components of U plus V. So if we want to draw these out, you draw them nose to tail, join them up, and then you get your resultant vector. If we were adding them in component form, this first vector here, U, and I've got it in bold again, you should be underlining it, it's 1, 2, 3 along and 5 up. And V is 4 along and 3 down, so you can see this here. To get U plus V, we can just add the components. So 3 plus 4 is going to give you 7, and 5 add negative 3 is going to give you 2. And if you watch, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2 up. So this components of this red line, you can see from the diagram it's 7 along and 2 up, but we can get that just from adding the vector components here. Same idea here, if I move this nose to tail, then I get my resultant vector there, u plus v. And we can do it in component form, u is 5, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. v is 1, 2, 3, but negative 3, and up 1. So if you add these, 5 add negative 3 is 2, you can see down here, and 2 add 1 is 3, so it's 2 along, and 3 up the red line. There we go. And the last one, if we move it nose to tail, then if we're moving along this journey, we're going down the way this time, and along here. So if we're starting up here and ending here, then it's going down the way. Same idea over here, if we're starting here and going up, and down, then the vector is moving in this, starting here and moving in this direction. And here in this one, if we're starting here and moving along here and up to there, then the vector is starting there, so it's moving up in that direction. So we can see the last one's the same here. You can just add the components, and you get negative 2 plus 4, which is 2, and negative 4 add negative 2, which is negative 6. So red line, 2 along and six down.